All right, time right now, 6.01. This morning, there's a new basketball champion in college basketball. The University of Kentucky Wildcats defeated the Kansas Jayhawks late last night. They won 67-59. to Now, Kentucky fans celebrated in New Orleans where the game was played. And back in Lexington, the home of the university, things kind of got out of hand. Right now, News Channel 5, Shea Harris is following the latest developments from the Breaking News Center. Shea, what's going on? Well, Mike, the people hit the streets to celebrate that win, and police tell us 60% of the crowd was made up of law-abiding citizens, but the rest got unruly, and they did that fast. Officers confirmed to us that one person was shot and is in serious condition right now, and we just learned it happened after a fight between people in a car and people on a sidewalk. Now, the victim was is 31 years old, and the gunman disappeared into the crowd. No arrests have been made in that incident. And meantime, some of the students had to be hospitalized for alcohol consumption and from being cut by broken glass during the celebrations. Now, ABC is reporting that more than 10,000 people took to the streets overnight, throwing beer cans into the air, with some setting small fires and breaking things. Now, several dozen arrests have been made uh, for arson, criminal mischief, and disorderly conduct. The University of Kentucky officials say that students arrested in the melee could face suspension or expulsion for bad behavior. Now, similar incidents happened last Saturday after the Wildcats won over cross-state rival Louisville. Revelers went as far as overturning cars and hurling bottles into the air then. Now, police said they would be prepared for last night, and they were. They used pepper spray for crowd control. I'm going to keep checking on this story this morning, and I'll bring you updates all morning long. Josh.